Right, hello there guys and girls, how's it all going? Hope you're all keeping well. Just, uh, I want to show you something here to do with the Unique Typhoon H. <coughs> uh, maybe a few of you have this problem, an awful lot of you don't seem to be having this uh, issue, but uh, lately with the, the latest, with the latest <laughs> version of firmware coming out, which is uh, the autopilot is 1.29, uh, it seems to be that the, the, the firmware isn't actually flashing to the flight controller of the Typhoon H. And Unique now have released uh, the earlier version, the version 1.28 uh, firmware. And you do you reflash this firmware via the GUI for the Typhoon H. And this will get the bird up and running again. So any, anybody who's having any problems there, you probably find that the gimbal is working, the camera is working. But the Typhoon H just seems to be dead. Like this one, I have uh, mine here. I have the battery in and all, no camera at the minute, the camera's sitting here. But I've bricked this one on purpose. It's absolutely it's bricked, it's dead at the minute. So press the power button. It's lighting up here, but no lights are coming on anywhere else. It didn't go and power up or put up, it's dead. But now it won't turn off either. The only way to turn it off is to unplug the battery. And uh, <clears throat> but don't worry, don't worry and don't panic because it's easy enough to fix and all you need to do if you don't already have the uh, Typhoon H GUI go onto the, your uh, your unique uh, website and download the GUI for Windows <coughs> uh, you might be able to run it on Mac as well I'm not too sure I'm not a Mac person but uh, I'm, I'm sure there's maybe a way around it but you need to get the GUI downloaded you need then to go to the unique page I'll put a wee link and I'll also put it in my Dropbox account uh, is the version 1.28 firmware uh, to do this and uh, basically, if it's dead, just all you have to do is slide the battery in, the, unplug it, take the battery out, uh, put the battery back in, don't try and turn it on. Get your micro USB cable. And plug it in to the bottom of your H. And uh, we'll show you here what to do now, where are we? Need to, all you need to do then is open the GUI. Sorry, my back's turned pitties here. I want to start something here to see if this works or not. Right, so you've downloaded your GUI. You have a GUI on your uh, laptop. You need to open up the GUI. Let the GUI open up. Then you need to go up to Tools. And then uh, Firmware Update. You go in the Firmware Update. I see for a file, you look for the browse bar, go in the browse, you'll see it. Now, there it is there, uh, Typhoon FC V 1.28. There is an earlier deep bricking firmware, I have the earlier deep bricking firmware too, but this is the latest one, so I have it now too, which is good. You need to open that up in the GUI. So, the H isn't powered up, the battery's inserted in, that's all you need to do. Uh, basically, you have to have the GUI up and running. Open up the firmware which is available from my Dropbox account or from Unique as well. Basically all you need to do is connect the Typhoon H and once you connect the Typhoon H with USB the GL will automatically pick it up and will start the firmware update process. And you can see here now it's going to start to upload. There we go. So I'll be swapping views here so you'll see this anyway, so don't worry. So I'll upload the firmware to the Typhoon H. Um, once you're uploaded, you're good to go. Once this is uploaded here now, once it does this firmware update, up the, uh, this only brings you up to version 1.28. You will need to still download uh, the latest version, uh, the latest, latest version, which is the overall version 3, but which includes the uh, flight controller version 1.29. So you need to download all that and then just go through the usual steps as you would do to normally update your Typhoon H. This time, but because the camera and the gimbal is already updated, it'll skip them It'll skip them steps whenever you go to update through the ST16 and stuff like that. It'll skip them steps and it'll go straight to the, the autopilot uh, update and you'll see it on the ST16 updating the autopilot and then that'll bring it up to 1.29. So this is like a, this almost, there we go, she's lit up and she's good to go. Flash successfully. Yes, she did flash successfully. So we'll close that. Turn off the power of the H. Unplug everything. Unplug everything. Close the GI. I'll 
reopen the GI. Plug in our lead, just to make sure now we were still up and running. This time now we're updated, we'll power up the H. We've we'll the H powered up, the GI, close the GI and reopen the GI again just to start fresh. And we'll plug it in to see what comes up there now. And then everything's called coming up, all the sensor calibrations is now reading everything. We go down to device information and we see it's some version down in the bottom left hand corner here, version V1.28. The idea, your, your copter ID, everything's there. So we'll file, we'll close, we'll disconnect and we'll come out of that. Right, so that's pretty painless, that's it, back up. So after, it took about five minutes there from complete dead bird and it's now functioning again, but the only thing is now it's on version 1.28. Next thing you need to do then is get your update. I have, I keep a separate wee 32 gig card for all my updates. I only use this card for updating my H and I don't use the card for anything else and I have it all coloured in red. I don't know if you'll see that or not. It's a wee sand disc. Ah, it's going blurry. But I've all coloured in red and I know that is the one from doing my updates. Every time I do an update, I uh, format the SD card before every and any update. Format the SD card and then write the data. I write what I want to across. So we'll have the firmware on the thing. Right, so as I was saying then, so what you need to do is, well the way I normally do it is format the SD card every single time. Once I format the SD card then, the FAT32, I have found that the latest update. Where are they? Downloads, documents, and I have it in here somewhere. I'm cutting or copy and paste in their SD card the new firmware. Inject. Right, so the latest firmware is now on the SD card. You need to put it into your camera. Obviously, you might have the camera on your bird or whatever. Need to go and get the antenna for this. Let's see. Bear with me one minute. Sorry about that, guys. Back again. Need to get a grab the other antenna, the V5.8 for the ST16 here because it's not a good idea turning these uh, controllers on without any antennas attached. You don't want to damage the system, so. Turn on the ST16 and we'll wait for that, that'll start to put up. While that's putting up then, <coughs> turn on the Typhoon H and let it put up as well. Everything should, should still connect, so it should, so it should be good to go. There we go, so we're on, we're connected. Telemetry is going to come up here in a wee second. We've got some telemetry. SD card and camera still waiting for it to connect. There, we're connected now. And just go through the, the update procedure now is what you normally would. You go into system settings. You go to uh, about controller. And you can see here, autopilot is now showing me version 1.28. So I have the card in ready for the update. So version 1.28, I know you guys can't really see it, but you just know what I'm talking about. And now we need to update, make sure remote battery, blah blah blah, 50%, blah blah blah, okay, checking, it's checking the file. 
it'll probably skip the camera because the camera's updated. It'll skip the gimbal because the gimbal's updated. And I'm not using the real sense version, so there'll be no real sense version update. So it's checking the firmware. Firmware is two of two. Autopilot is updating. That's what it says. So it's now only updating uh, the autopilot from firmware uh, 1.28 to 1.29. Shouldn't take too long. Maybe two or three minutes or something, and that'll be good to go. You'll hear the H should restart and go about its normal business. Uh, once you've done that, let's use back up and run again. These are all good to go. You've debricked your Typhoon H, you flashed it with a firmware 1.28, and then you just update to 1.29 as you normally would update. The only thing it will miss is the gimbal and the camera because it's already updated them uh, whenever you tried the previous update, which caused it to brick itself in the first place. <laughs> so, uh, here we go, that's updating there. Just There's nothing I can do, only wait for it to update, you know. If you are having the same issues, I suggest this is uh, something that you, you get done. It's the only way out of it. There's no other way. You, you spend time phoning Unique. Uh, they're they're going to tell you to do the same thing, basically, you know. And it's as easy as that. It didn't take long. What are we talking? 15 minutes? And that was with me running in and out. Basically, if you have all this stuff on your computer, doing whatever, you can have this done in no time at all, you know. The firmware is still updating there, but it will go. You hear the noise that thing too but um, one thing I'm surprised about is that they haven't developed the, the firmware updates to run through the GUI anyway they can run the firmware up, updates for the flight controller through the GUI because if they can backtrack them through the GUI surely they can update them but it must be whatever way it's linked into the camera and stuff like that just it, it can't be done that way but it would be much easier and simpler if they could do it this way, it would make life so much easier just to be able to plug it in without SD cards, plug it in the USB port into your laptop, firmware, upload, bang, boom, away and you're done. That would be so much easier. But anyway, who am I to say that? That's not up to me. They have started this new wireless over the air OTA update thing and I think that's where an awful lot of this problem is coming from. It's only been brought out, it's only been released, it is a new feature. Uh, over the air update is a new feature so give it a bit of time it's something i'm sure unique will work on we'll get it sorted in the end eventually hopefully fingers crossed but that's a good new update lately with a histogram there and uh, a few other features i haven't really played about with it too much really to be honest with you i haven't had the weather to get out flying and other problems and stuff there we go she's updated so you're now good to go so yes, Unique, thanks for the wee update there, that was good anyway, definitely a lot of nice new features there, so there is the T60 panel shots, the stuff is good, the, the burst mode, time lapse, wee bit iffy, it's only one second time lapse, I'm not too sure about that, well, something we'll have to work on, you know, but for now, firmware, firmware's update, succeed, please restart aircraft, okay. So I know I'm updating, I'm going to turn this off, I'll check up myself in a minute or two. I hope for any of you guys out there this has sort of helped you a little bit. If it has helped you out there, give us a wee like, hit the wee like button. I'll leave a, a Dropbox link down below uh, to my Dropbox with that firmware, the Flash firmware. If you're having trouble getting it from any of the Unique sites, I'll have it in the Dropbox there for you so you can pick it up from there. And it's as easy as that. You know, there's no issues, no dramas. You can get it done. Ten minutes does the job and you'll be back up in the air in no time. All the best, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll get you again soon. Bye-bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.